How goes it everybody? My name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today I got this one to show you. The GWC 2001 Silverback. Blitzworks brings us this one, obviously, and it's based off of a Ford Excursion. I don't think I've seen an Excursion yet. Pretty much just a Ford Super Duty SUV, really. That's pretty much what the Excursion was. So let's just go see what we can do to this thing. All right, for engines, we have the 7.3, 7.3 power tuned and the 7.3 ultimate. Let's definitely do ultimate. Gearbox, got five speed default, six speed highway and the four speed off road. We'll do the four speed off road first. Suspension, we got the stock, three inch lift, six, six inch lift and monster truck. <laughs> that thing's really off the ground. Yeah, let's do that. Tires, we got his big old selection of tires. Well, we got the monster suspension, so let's just do the monster tires. They're all right in the mud. They're good off-road in general. Winch, got stock winch, extended, high-powered, stage four. Definitely stage four. All around good winch. Spare wheel, that must be on the inside, huh? Well, we don't need that. Frame add-ons, you got trunk repair supplies, just got some repair parts and some fuel. You know what, I'll actually put that in. You never know when you're gonna need something like that. Visuals, we have lights. We have the curved LED light bar. Ooh, we'll see what else he has to offer first. Roof, got cab lights. Or the little visor, ooh. The visor actually makes it look kinda nice. I think I'll just do the cab lights. That doesn't look too bad. I kinda like that look. Rear bumper, oh boy. Oh, we're nice and close. Ooh. You got the factory bumper, or you got a steel bumper. I like the steel bumper, it makes it look kinda, kinda beefy. Even more so than what the excursion already is. Supplies, you got a little roof rack. I'll leave that alone, actually. Front bumper, looks like you just got the factory bumper. You got the steel bumper, and the steel winch brushed bumper. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do this bumper, it doesn't look too bad. Grill, you got the stock grill, or the billet grill. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the stock grill, sure. Snorkel. They got the, uh, just like a regular snorkel or you got the invisible snorkel. Oh, I'll actually do the snorkel. It makes it look kind of a little more off-roady, you know? Colors. Just some normal colors, I would say. Actually, not a lot of choices this time around. We'll actually do like this, this grayish color, sure. No interior, exterior customization with this one. Well, let's go see how this thing does. I'm fairly certain it's gonna do quite well. I mean, it certainly does look pretty beefy, huh? Be cool to see an excursion running around like this. Now, apparently what he did was just take a, like a F-350 four door, and then just kind of put the the roof and everything on the back end of that. You, you can tell where he did it. It's not perfect, but it's definitely, definitely looks like an excursion, really. A little interior shot. Definitely wouldn't say it's perfect Ford interior, but it doesn't, definitely has its little things that it does scream Ford. But it's just interior. I, I never look at the fucking interior anyway. That, you know what? That sound model actually kind of does sound like a 7.3. Huh. Oh, stop. Oh. oh. And this one will pull scout trailers. Oh, boy. Oh. And the bigger trailers, too. Which is kind of nice. Some of his builds like this only pull scout trailers. Well, we'll probably end up doing that later. Let's go see how this thing does. If lock is on all the time, that's nice to see. That'll probably help this thing out too. Oh, where am I going? Oh my God! Ah! <laughs> Christ, I've been driving the fucker for like a minute. Let's give this another shot. Be mindful with these tires and this suspension it does not like to flip back over once you flip it over. So, 
just be careful. You have to get in a very, very peculiar, peculiar spot to flip it back over onto its wheels. But I mean, so far, it did that part back there really nice. We'll see how it does through Swampy Town. I can't imagine that it's going to do bad through here. Pretty much any vehicle that he does, ooh, with this suspension and tire setup, fucking just rock through here. I mean, and it's... It's barely trying. Going over the downed trees real nice. Not really a care in the world. That was the deep spot. Oh, I did downshift right there. Oh, okay. But otherwise, I mean, this thing did very, very well through this. I mean, and, and it, it really should. The tires are fucking massive. It's definitely not close to the ground. Here comes the river. Let's see if we downshift again. Oh, we, we carried enough momentum through. We didn't have to downshift. Well, it did that really well. Let's go do some other stuff. Yeehaw. All right, I've said it before with his mods. These tires are not made for rocks. But I do like to see how he has the suspension set up. Ooh. We'll take it up over here once and see See if it'll actually get up there. There you go, you big bastard. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Let's see if we can give this another go. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's see if it'll... Let's see if it'll actually get up here. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Oh, yeah. That was, that was decent. A little slidey. But... Oh! It did it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to flip back over from here, though. Oh, surprisingly, I actually did. We'll take it up over this way. I'm going to turn this thing around here. We got a big girl here. Let's see if it'll actually... If it'll actually do something here. I knew it was definitely going to lock the front end up. I don't think it has it. To quite get the whole truck up there. I mean, it wants to really, really badly. I guarantee if you gave it enough time, found the right line, it probably would do it, but we'll try up over here once. Oh, so close. There, you give her a little, little, give her a little momentum, and she goes up. I mean, this thing—it's pretty decent. The wheelbase is real nice, nice and long. Let's go do a little speed test, huh? Alright, now the question's gonna be, can I maintain the speed down the hill? Can I keep control of it? Ooh. Nice wide tires do help a lot. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, shit. I'm... Oh, God, the camera. I'm kind of stuck here. Uh-oh. There I go. There. <laughs> well, it's a jumper. All right. Did that pretty well. Let's see if we can control this thing in six gear once. Right, that's six gear. It's hard to tell if this is faster than high or not. I think high is just a little faster. I don't know. It's hard to tell. 
Yeah! <laughs> All right. Let's go pull a trailer now. Oh, Mr. Maintenance Trailer. You're coming with me, buddy. All right, the truck does good on its own. Let's see what happens when we put some weight behind it. I know it's not a lot, but it's something. All right, we're going to see how this big bastard does here. Got her in high. Let's see how it pulls the hill. It should pull the hill just fine. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Not a care in the world. Yeah. There we go. Hey, nice easy work of that hill. From the little whoops here. Oh, yeah. Yep, just, just feed her the onions and... Oh, no. Oh, oh. Almost tip me over. Oh, God. Mr. Trailer, calm down. Oh! God damn. A little rowdy there. That's what's nice about these tires. They're so goddamn wide. It's not as easy to tip over when your trailer starts fucking around on you like... Like that. Oh! <laughs> Of course, I am <laughs> driving like a fucking moron, but I got to see what it'll do, man, you know? Pretty much just, oh no, oh no. And pretty much just holding the throttle is the way to go. <laughs> when in doubt, throttle out. All right. See, you get into the right situation and it flips over halfway decent. If it was flat ground, it might not have flipped over. It, it, it can be picky sometimes. Oh, that truck is still flipped over over there, isn't it? Mm. We'll get to that later. So far, I mean, this thing's doing really, really good. I bet this would be an excellent scout for somebody. Some Ford fan. Love this thing. Let's see if it pulls the little hill here. The tires are good. I have no no issues with the tires uh, off off road. I'm pretty sure the truck is heavy enough. It should be able to do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. It barely struggled. It struggled a little bit, but some vehicles struggle a lot more than others. This one didn't do too bad. All right, let's just send it on down the mountain here. Oh boy, oh God, oh camera. Oh God, I hate when the camera does that. All right, Mr. Trailer, what are you gonna do here? See if I can just turn out of it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, we're fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, this thing's doing pretty well. I haven't really had too many issues. It does make quite a bit of power too. All right, I put her in automatic. We'll see if it drops gear up here. Sometimes vehicles like to drop gear up this little tiny slope here. Okay. No, it didn't. All right, here comes the puddle. Let's see if it drops gear here, too. Oh, yep. Just not quite enough. That's okay. Looks like we just got trucks sitting all over the place. What I've seen, all I need to see, this thing did really, really well. Well, that was the GWC 2001 Silverback. Not too bad. This thing did really well. I mean, I'll, a lot of his builds do, though. With, with this 
suspension set up in these tires. All of them do fairly well. Off-road, I mean, this thing is a... You know, it's an animal. No pun intended. <laughs> it's it's really good. You're not going to be doing any rock crawling. I mean, that's, that's apparent. These tires are not made for it. But damn, nice little build here. I had fun with it. Good job. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.